Okay, friends, we are finally back with another photo shoot with BM. Yes, with the beautiful Muriel. And we have today two cameras which we will compare today the Sony A7 II and the Sony A6400. And yeah, it's really nice weather today. I love this kind of weather because it's not too hot, not too cold. And yeah, today's a special video because we wanted to compare both cameras and see which one is better. Both are very similar in price, which is interesting because this one is a full frame camera and this one is APS-C. And yeah, we will start now the photo shoot and of course let you know at the end which one would I choose if I had the money for both or for one. So yeah, we will get now the photo shoot. Okay friends, we just finished here with the session and now we will go to our favorite location in Herford which is a beautiful bridge and Muriel broke her bra <laughs> which is part of the photo shoot sometimes but yeah we have to now yeah, be a bit flexible and go now with some other ideas and yeah let's go to the next location. Okay friends, we are now at the end of the photo shoot and you can see the two cameras here with Muriel <laughs> and yeah, I really enjoyed it today. Both cameras performed really good. I liked the photos a bit more on the full frame Sony a7 II because the background definitely performed a bit better than with the Sony a6400. I just like the full frame sensor a bit more because the images just look a bit more realistic in my opinion. However, the autofocus with the Sony a6400 was much better. Sometimes with the Sony a7 II I had a bit of difficulties, especially when I did full body shots. Then I had sometimes a bit uh, diff difficulties with the camera. So yeah, if I had the choice between both of them, I would still probably go for the Sony a7 II if I just would do portrait photography and if I would like do simple work like for example here outdoor with fashion and when it's for example also great sunlight then the Sony a7 II is great. If I would go for video I would go for the a6400 because it has 4k, it's really good, it also is good for portrait photography, it's light and weight and the lenses are a bit cheaper also you can see the Sigma 56mm is on the Sony a6400 and yeah I paid around 300 to 400 euros for that lens so the lenses are a bit cheaper with the APS-C lineup. With the Sigma 85mm on the Sony a7 II 
that's of course yeah a big big crazy camera so yes so yeah that is my opinion guys i love both still so if you would go for one of these for portrait photography you would definitely make a good choice and yeah thanks so much for watching guys take care and yeah see you next time bye, bye.